Now tonight, the Family Research Council and other right-wing groups are proclaiming liberty and saying it has to do with opposition to gay, lesbian, and transgendered people and making sure that they don't have any legal recognition or social legitimization. But I reread Isaiah 61 over and over again, and strangely, I didn't find any negative references to same-sex relationships or transgender people. In fact, I didn't find any references to sex at all. <laughs> and I looked up the other uses of the word liberty in the Bible and found that, shockingly, there were no connections between liberty and sex there either. Secular laws may or may not agree with various religious doctrines, and that's okay. The radical belief of the writers of our Constitution was that that is okay. Our civil liberties do not threaten religious liberty. They are essential if religious liberty is to exist. Those of us here tonight represent many different religions, many faiths, many beliefs, many races and creeds. Isn't that wonderful? Yes! Yeah. yes. We are gay. We are straight. We are bisexual. We are lesbian. We are transgendered. We are questioning. Isn't that wonderful? Yes! Yeah. Oh. the event across the street are not telling the truth when they say that their freedom of religion and their freedom of speech are being taken away from them. And I'm sick and tired of the falsehoods. We need to remind our governor that we say no here in Massachusetts to his running around the country ignorant of the distinction between religious marriage and civil marriage. He does not speak for the people of the Commonwealth and we should let people across this nation know what we think of his pandering, his pushing not for civil rights, for taking away our rights. I'm gonna let it shine, shine. 